Hey guys, Doug. How are you? Pretty good. Whatever. Oh. I'm fine. <laughs> It's just been a lot. It's been a lot today. It's been an awful lot. It's been good. It's been a lot. So what can you tell us about the final season? Oh! Okay. Um, we didn't have to film the entire 41 minutes or whatever because we got to use a bunch of footage from the pilot in the uh, season premiere. Does that make sense? That yeah. makes sense, yeah. Yes. Um, it's so, so, we got that going for us. <laughs> which is nice. Yeah. Um, if season one Oliver Queen could see the current Oliver, would he think he failed the city? The no, no. The season one, the season one version, no, because he was very, he was very. Um, what's the word that I'm looking for? It's going to come to you eventually. Like very single-minded, and you know, he would see that. Like, you have an objective, you go after it. Um, you know, you probably would have criticized certain things along the way, but uh, you know, I think that I think that the season one. I think the season one version of Oliver would be appreciative of the season eight version. Especially the season eight version. I'm enjoying the season eight version. It's nice. It's so what can you tell us about your socks? My socks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wear Stance socks. If they want to sponsor me, they can. <laughs> Stance.com. I order all my socks. My socks have a drag, like the right, you have to wear the right on the right and the left. I love Stance socks so much. S T A N C E dot com. I pay full price for your shit. <laughs> Having just 10 episodes to tell you this whole season wants to wrap up the show. Hmm, not 10. Not 10. We don't have 10. We have 7. What? We have what? 7 episodes? We have 10 episodes, but we have 7 episodes to tell our story. How so? Oh. Because of the crossover. Oh, because of the because crossover. Because the crossover is in episode right. 8. So 7, so even less. So how does that impact on the storytelling and the production that you make? I mean, every every episode right now feels like a, like a grand experiment. Um, you know, episode one is the pilot, <laughs> and episode two is an ode to season three, and episode three is kind of also an ode to season three, but Oliver gets to, um, in, in, in my mind, make amends, not necessarily make amends, but like, tie it up and close the chapter with five characters over the first three episodes that I don't think anyone would ever think that he would ever get a chance to do that with. Including, including like, at least one person who's his fucking mortal enemy. What are you going to steal? I stole the bow from the pilot. Okay? But I gave it to Sarah, at her, Sarah, my friend Sarah, at her panel last year. She gave it back to me today. And I gave her a jacket that I wore during the pilot. So I feel like my real estate's totally chewed up on this one. I don't want to steal stuff. I don't want to steal Oh, uh, I am gonna I'm gonna buy the Queen Mansion in Victoria, BC, just to just to upcharge Deadpool when I want to film there. <laughs> we know the final scene has been written. Have you read it? Wait, you I read it. It was, it was pitched to me. It's good. How did you feel when you heard? It? It's tough, man. I um I uh. Big believer that you know. If you're like, you know, what is the what is the what's the horizon look like? It's like, well, I haven't I haven't climbed up to get a look at it yet. You know what I mean? I mean we're still climbing. You know, we're still you know, um, 
when we finish the premiere, which for me will be Monday evening. I'll finish the premiere, and I'll go watch my trailer, and I'll go. Nine to go. And start thinking about it, but I can't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not totally there yet. Yeah. Also, there's so many moving parts, it's dangerous to be like, yeah, it's written. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know how I want it to go, yeah. but I also don't know a lot about the show post-crisis. So many things could change. Things that, yeah. Can you um, tell us where Oliver is in the first episode? Yeah. Where you see him in the pilot. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally fucking telling you where he is. <laughs> does, that, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I think it does. Yeah. I think it does. Yeah. Um, so where is he? On the island. Oh, where's that? On the island. It's called Starling City, right? So he's back. Literally in season one. Mm -hmm. No? No, he's not in Starling City in scene one. He's on the island. <laughs> <laughs> on the island. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Unless he's back. Oh. Seven years. Seven years. He's been. He's been seven. Seven going on. No, I mean, I mean look. I, you know, I, I was. I was here. I sat in this room with you guys. Actually, I think we were across the hall. You know, in 2012, and you know, you guys didn't know a ton of, of, about us, but like, the fans have come on a journey with us, and that's. Uh, you know, that takes a lot. Like. I don't watch television shows until I know that they've got two seasons, right? Like it, it takes a, a it takes a minute for me to be trustworthy and to commit. And so the fact, you know, it's weird because we're on the same network as Supernatural, and they're, you know, they're wrapping up after season 28. And, <laughs> you know, people people kind of look at eight seasons and they're like, eh, eight. That's not. It's no. It doesn't actually happen. We're so fortunate. So for all the fans that came on the journey, and for you guys too, um, I, I this very, very thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you.